Lynn Dunn has had enough, and the reason will shock you. The Indiana Fever GM is absolutely livid about the behavior of Caitlin Clark's fans. But what's the real story here? Is this just another day in the WNBA, or is there something more significant unfolding? Caitlin Clark's impact in the WNBA is nothing short of extraordinary. Her performance on the court is not just remarkable, but game-changing. With an average of 16.3 points, 6 assists, and 4.9 rebounds per game. However, what's truly fascinating is the unprecedented effect she's having off the court. The surge in attendance is unprecedented, with crowds of 19,133 in Los Angeles and 20,333 in Washington. These figures not only signify increased attendance, but also demonstrate the unprecedented level of enthusiasm and support she's generating among fans. With all of Clark's success, you might think everything is smooth sailing. Well, hold on to your seats, because that's where things get complicated. Remember when Clark got hip-checked by Kennedy Carter? Or how about when she got tangled up with Angel Reese? These aren't just normal basketball plays. We're talking about serious physicality here. And it's not just happening once or twice, it's becoming a pattern. Clark even said after one of these games, I feel like I'm getting hammered. Can you imagine being a rookie lighting up the league and feeling like you're constantly under attack? Despite the physical nature of the game, Clark continues to excel on the court. She remains steadfast in her approach, refusing to alter her playing style despite the challenges. This has sparked a debate within the WNBA community with opinions divided on whether her style of play is simply tough and competitive, or if it crosses the line into dangerous territory. Players, coaches, and fans are grappling with questions about what constitutes acceptable on-court behavior and where the boundaries between tough defense and unsafe play lie. This ongoing discussion is generating significant interest and concern within the WNBA community. Don't overlook the fact that as the on-court drama unfolds, Clark's popularity off the court is reaching new heights. Fans are clamoring for more of her. They're flocking to watch her games, snapping up her jerseys, and keeping the social media abuzz with non-stop chatter about her. What's causing this surge in popularity? Is it just tight defense, or are we treading into risky territory? The WNBA is abuzz with this discussion, and everyone has a stance on it. On one side, there are those who argue that this is an integral part of the game. After all, basketball is a physically demanding sport. To succeed at the professional level, you must possess toughness. And when you're as exceptional as Caitlin Clark, it's inevitable that you'll attract extra attention from defenders. In a way, it can even be seen as a form of flattery. They are essentially saying that you're too good to be played against normally. However, the situation becomes more intricate when this tough defense cross the line. We are witnessing plays that go beyond hard fouls, including hip checks, rough tangles, and hits reminiscent of a hockey game rather than a basketball game. What's more, it's not an isolated incident. This is becoming a recurring pattern. Every game, it appears that Clark is being subjected to increasingly rough treatment. This begs the question, is this truly just a part of the game, or is there something more at play here? And now, let's consider the perspective of the WNBA commissioner, Kathy Engelbert. She recently stated, I think everybody's watching Caitlin, so they're focused only on Caitlin, but when you look across other games with other players, it's a physical game. Angelbert's observation sheds light on the broader context of the league's competitive nature. However, it prompts us to question whether there's more to the story. The situation escalates significantly at this point. What are the potential outcomes if this trend continues unchecked? To begin with, there's the looming specter of injuries. Basketball already demands intense physical exertion, and further intensifying the physicality only compounds the risk. A single misstep, an ill-fated fall, or an awkward twist could prematurely curtail a player's promising career. Can we afford to gamble with such peril? Additionally, there's the impact on the integrity of the game. With players constantly wary of physical harm, are we witnessing peak performance on the court? 
Are we depriving fans of the chance to see these remarkable athletes performing at their zenith? And let's not overlook the influence on the future of the sport. Aspiring young athletes observing these encounters, what lessons are they absorbing? Are we communicating the message that enduring punishment is a prerequisite for basketball success? Lynn Dunn is not merely concerned about individual players or teams. She is focused on the broader scope of the game. She advocates for the overall improvement of the sport, not just for a single player like Clark, but for the benefit of every player in the league. What could have sparked such fervent determination in Lynn Dunn? Let's delve into her powerful statements and understand the reasons behind her call for immediate action. Dunn's passion for cleaning up the game is truly inspiring. She fearlessly calls out dangerous play and has taken proactive steps by sending game tapes to the league office. Her determination to make a difference is commendable and sets a powerful example for everyone involved in the game. Check out this compelling take. Dunn isn't just fighting for Clark, she's fighting for the future of the WNBA. She's making a powerful statement about the importance of protecting star players and setting a high standard for the entire league. If we allow rough play to go unchecked, what message does that send to fans and aspiring athletes? It's about more than just one player or team. It's about the integrity of the game and the well-being of future generations of athletes. Dunn is taking a clear stand. Our players must be protected. The game should be fair and safe for everyone on the court, and she's unwavering in her stance. But here's the twist. Dunn's remarks are not only rattling the league, but also stirring reactions among the fans. Their response might surprise you. Some fans are standing with Dunn, asserting that it's high time someone spoke out. They're weary of seeing their beloved players taking hard hits and want to witness skill, rather than purely physical force, prevailing in games. Conversely, others are uncertain. They argue that physicality has always been a part of basketball, adding to its excitement. The basketball community is currently embroiled in a heated debate. On one side, there's a vocal group led by Dunn, advocating for significant changes to the game. On the opposing end, there are fans who staunchly believe that the game is perfect as it is. Caught in the midst of this fervent discussion are the players themselves, directly impacted by every physical encounter on the court. The pressing question now is, will the league heed Dunn's call for change and conduct a thorough review of the game's current state? Alternatively, Will they maintain the status quo and dismiss any need for adjustments? The ongoing controversy shows no signs of fading away anytime soon. It's a hot topic of conversation, sparking discussions amongst coaches, players, and fans alike. It's incredible how the Caitlin Clark effect is not just revolutionizing the game on the court, but is also having a massive impact on the WNBA off the court. It's remarkable to witness the incredible numbers packed arenas with 19,000 fans in Los Angeles and over 20,000 in Washington, he see this is not just a slight increase in attendance, it's entire stadiums coming alive for Clark. But here's where it gets really interesting. This surge in fan interest isn't just about watching a great player, it's changing the whole dynamic of the league. People who've never watched a WNBA game before are suddenly tuning in. They're buying tickets, they're grabbing jerseys, they're talking about Clark on social media nonstop. Now you might be thinking, this is all great news, right? Well, it's not that simple. Remember what Lynn Dunn was saying about the rough treatment Clark's been getting on the court? That's where things start to get complicated. See, with all these new fans comes a whole new level of pressure. Everyone's eyes are on Clark every time she steps on the court. And that attention isn't just coming from the stands, it's affecting how other players are treating her too. Think about it. When you've got a player who's bringing in record crowds and changing the game, how do you defend against her? Some players might be pushing the limits, trying to throw Clark off her game. And with all those fans watching, the intensity just keeps ramping up. It's not just about the physical play. The fans themselves are an integral part of this passionate situation. There are die-hard Clark supporters who believe in her unwaveringly, while others perceive special treatment. 
When these two groups clash, that's when things really heat up. This is where things really start to heat up. The crazy fan frenzy isn't just impacting Clark and the players, it's also pushing the league to the limit. The WNBA is under the gun to manage this unexpected surge in attention while maintaining a level playing field and ensuring everyone's safety. The league is facing a crucial decision. On one hand, they need to support the growing fan base, while on the other hand, they must maintain control of the game. How can they achieve this balance? Some suggest a stricter approach to rough play, while others advocate for educating new fans about the game. There are also those who argue that the players themselves need to take charge and set the tone on the court. Whatever solution they come up with, it will make a significant impact on the future of the WNBA. We're not just talking about one player or one season here. This is about setting the course for women's basketball for years to come.